Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to upload a video um, as a VR response to Honey Lou um, because she actually made a video, uh, I think it was yesterday, the day before, um, of her altar and I absolutely fell in love with Honey Lou's video. So I said to her, I said, I'm just going to do a VR to this and I said to see, like, you know, so people can see, like, kind of behind the scenes and things like that, you know, to show you, like, my space where I kind of work. So, here you go, guys. Um, this is a repurposed desk. Um, these were really popular in the UK many, many years ago. Uh, I think they used to fill them um, with stationery. They were used for writing letters. And there's a lock, um, a lock underneath as well. And there's some drawers underneath as well. Which I actually keep my tarot decks in. Um... The, the ones that have gone out to print or ones that I don't very uh, very rarely use now. So this is where I kind of do all my bits and pieces, my photos, my lives. Um, it's a space to me which I absolutely love coming to because it brings me so much peace. Um, and, and I think this is what we need somewhere of our own where we can just disconnect and you know, connect with ourselves. So it's not got a particular theme. Um, you know, it's not a pagan altar, you know, it's not geared towards anything, it's just a space where I like to be, I like to sit. Um some of my favourite things are on here. So I wanted to kind of give you a little walkthrough. So first of all I've got my planner because I'll be absolutely lost without this. This is a 2024-25 planner. This is where I write down everything. I'm currently doing a challenge at the moment with Kate uh, from Joyful Journey over on Instagram. So this is where I write all the prompts down. And these are the two decks that I'm using at the moment. Um, that's actually a traditional um, Vera Sibylla deck. And this is the one by James Batter Battersby. And this is the Spring Sibylla. So I've been using these two all throughout the challenge. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Right, so these are the decks I'm currently working with at the moment. Um, so we've got the Earth Song Oracle there. Um, we've got the Dali Tarot, which I recently bought for myself. Um, we've got the Earth Woman Tarot by Tarn Ellis, uh, who is the creator of the Earth Woman Oracle. And beautiful gift from Lennox, Danny and Levi, early birthday gift is the Blythe Doll Tarot cards. And last but not least is my pocket edition of the Gentle Tarot, which I absolutely love. So on my altar you can see there's various decks. Now these need sorting out because I do go through like, um, if I do do anything... It's kind of like this needs changing from like summer to autumn. So as you can see, it's very summery with the lavender and the rose candles and the, the rose quartz and the decks as well. Um, I was using Rebecca Campbell's decks a lot in the summer. Also along with the ASCII Guides Oracle. Um, this was when I used to have my TikTok account, which I don't have now. Um, these books here, that is the Whole and Holy book by Molly Rima from Bridget's Grove. Um, and there's prayers in there, it's a goddess prayers, and it's a really lovely book. These three little books there is the little book of saints, the little book of angels, and the little book of prayers. Um, I'm not a religious person at all, but like I have got like kind of a, a real bond with um, Mother Mary. So let me just um, show you what's up here. So there's some spare cards there, my Three Trees Tarot, you know, the, the, the kind of instruction cards that come with it. And this is a deck from Maria Louise Wessels, um, which was from Make Playing Cards. And this is like kind of edition of um, the old Greenwood Tarot. This stays on my altar all the time. Um, that's an empty box, so you don't want to see that. So uh, let me just move that out of the way. So that's what stays there and that never changes. So no matter how much I change kind of the setup of this, um, these three, four books always stay there and so does that deck. Now onto the front bits, there's a photo of myself and my dad and I think I was about 10 on there. Um, 
and it's the only kind of childhood photo I've got, um, sadly, because my dad passed away in 2007. So I framed this little photo, I put it in the angel frame, um, and it's a reminder of my dad always being with me all the time. So I like to have that on my altar. Um, I've also got uh, pictures of my grandmother as well, um, but they're not on display on my altar as yet. Um, there is one of my favourite statues, uh, representations of the Mother of the Mary, that's the Black Madonna, and this is made from ebony. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love it so much. I love the face, um, the feel of it, the carving. It's just totally, totally beautiful. Um, and that stays there as well. Inside the little drawers behind there, it's just like two little tiny spell candles and bits and bobs. Um, so there's nothing, you know, of importance to see in there. This is a little um, incense burner for charcoal. Um, this is by uh, Wynne Abbott, I think. No, this is the Star Child one, sorry, from Glastonbury. And there is the incense that I use to put in it. That is the Earth Crystals Natural Incense. And I also have the Merlin Incense as well. I don't burn it very often because it's incredibly smoky. Um, so it literally fills this small, tiny room with smoke. So I only normally kind of use that like on special occasions. Um, this deck is uh, one of my tr most treasured decks ever. And this was um, a gift from my friend Serge over in the Ukraine. Ukraine. Um, and in the midst of the, the start of the war, um, Serge actually went to the printers, had this printed for me, borderless, changed a few things on it. Um, and it was a complete war zone and you know for somebody to kind of do something like that when the country's been ripped apart um it will always be incredibly special to me so this never ever ever leaves leaves the house or never ever moves off my altar so this is one of my all-time treasures ever um so this is a piece of i think it's rhodonite i'm not sure um the reason i'm just gonna grab a chair right the reason why i've got it on the altar is because when i love the stone um it brings me like kind of a sense of peace and i love the feel of it as well because it's a palm stone it's always always really really cold um and like when i kind of need a little bit of grounding i'll kind of come in here and all this stone and it kind of calms me down. So yeah, I'll absolutely love that. This is a shamanic figure um, by Wynne Abbott, who is a UK artist. Um, I've got a few things of Wynne Abbott's uh, scattered around the place, but this one reminds me of my ancestral roots. Um, you know, it's just something, I don't know, I've, I've got this real connection to this statue. It's something incredibly special. Um, and she lives here all the time as well. So behind there, um, I have the Dream Dust Shamanic Tarot. And also my Trusty Mother Piece Tarot, um, which is one of my... This isn't actually, this is a newer copy. Um, but this is one of my favourite decks of all time that I actually used all through the 90s. Um, most part of the 2000s and... Yeah, it's one of my, this is my soul deck, if if there is such a thing, um, and I absolutely love it, I really love it. So, I've got loads of different editions of it, but this is, this is the one that's been recoloured, so some of the colours are more vibrant, so I need a round bag for that, if anybody knows anyone who makes any round bags. So, this next section here, this is a little um, card that came with my Three Trees Tarot, which I'm going to get a tiny frame for. Um that's from stephanie and you know the artworks by adam olis and so that's lovely that's kind of temporary on here um because as i said i need to get a frame for it uh that's some silly little thing uh i have no idea where it is oh yeah i do <laughs> so that's that, that's just been put there randomly in here i have the uh i think this is one of the decks by artisan tarot it is, yeah. So this is my mini kind of major's deck uh, by Artisan Tarot. 
and I'll put it in that little pouch. These two books here, I absolutely love, um, especially the one by Jericho Mandibur. Um, you just basically, for those who haven't seen it before, you just basically randomly flip a page open and there's your kind of answer, loosen your grip. Uh, it's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. Um, there's all kinds of things in here, you know, little quotes and everything. And this one as well is pretty much the same. Um, I think these kind of things are really cool. So that one says, give it time. Um, there's all that, that one travel is advised. So you can ask a question or something like that. And there's like got kind of guides in here as well. So I love it. I love these two books. So these kind of stay here as well. This is just, oh, this is, um, oh, the Shadow Escapes Tarot Guide book. Don't ask me what's going on there. Uh, a Mother Mary bookmark and a Little Mary card. And these are from Kasha. And she also sent me um, this beautiful little bottle, which I think is for holy water um it's just really really special so i'll keep that on the top of my altar uh let me have a look where else i've got to show you so i've showed you the front part now i think uh let me just tidy it up it's not the biggest space either so you'll have to just bear with me while i kind of shuffle everything around um this is another one of my most treasured decks um and this is the secret to Kini oracle uh this is my second copy. My first copy is all battered because I've had for years and years and years. Um, this never fails to give the most spot on readings ever. I love it because it's a collage work, you know, collage deck. It's from the 1970s. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and I hope it never, ever, ever goes out of print. So that stays here as well. I've already showed you the two Sibylla decks. That's what I'm working with at the moment. Now, this is a crystal ball, which um, I had from a, a crystal shop in the summer um, in a little town called Borton on the Water. Um, it wasn't too expensive, but I absolutely love it. Um, I can't read a crystal ball uh, yet, um, but I just love looking and staring into the crystal ball. So... Obviously, it reflects the light and everything, so that stays here as well. This little guy is Jasper, and he was made for me by my friend Mel of Intuitive Cat in Australia. And he's like a protection little guy. Um, this is a dog star amulet, which I've attached to his neck, and that's from Jess over at Aconite Kunja. Um, there's all sorts of bits and pieces on him as well. Um, I've took him out with me a few times. Uh, he loves it, having his photo taken. I absolutely adore him. He's like my little special poppet who always lives here on my desk altar. Um, and he's incredibly special. So underneath there, we have a Lemurian crystal uh, that somebody sent me. And inside this little tiny box, which I got from London, I think it was. One of the times I was there this year. Um, I also keep my artisan or the tarot in there because it's perfect for a mini tarot deck. So I know where they are at all times. If I need to grab a deck when I'm on the go, uh, I know where my two favourite minis are. On this little shelf here, you've got a statue from my, a British British Grove as well. Um, each one is for a different thing. These are resin statues. I absolutely love them. I've got a couple of them. Um, the other one's been placed somewhere. Obviously, I can't find it. And there we have like some decks that I used to use that I don't use uh, now. These are being changed over within the next couple of days. He is a little... I think he's a Japanese kind of, I'm not sure what he is, but he's made from Rose Quartz. He was a gift from my friend Crystal a few years ago. And he's like my little guardian. Um, I absolutely love him. He reminds me of the Hermit card from the Tarot. So he stays there as well. And this is a little Welsh Dragon, which is a reminder of my heritage. Um, 
because my grandparents are Welsh and I absolutely love him, especially living in Wales. Um, and it reminds me of everything Welsh. And I thought, well, he needs to kind of live on my altar where I can see him all the time, where I can remember, you know, my friends, my family and all the lovely times I had in Wales. So he kind of lives there. Now, now we're up to the top. Uh, now I've showed you all that. So let me just put Jasper back in the corner. So the top of the uh, altar um, is more of a display. Um, so this is done by an artist from Glastonbury, which is which was bought by from the Goddess Temple shop. Um, this one at the back is another statue by a UK artist called Philippa Bowers. Um, that was sent to me by Alex, who made uh, the pastel tarot. Uh, pastel magic tarot because Alex is Polish so a relative sent me that over from Poland and uh, there's a lady on tire of knots at the back there uh, just a little random bottle of lavender this is Monte a crystal skull which is extremely heavy so I'm not going to pick him up um, and he kind of oversees everything what's going on and uh, what I'm doing um, I, do, I do kind of pay him a lot of attention um, it's just absolutely wonderful to have, you know, in front of me where I can see him all the time. Or is he keeping an eye on me all the time? Who knows? Uh, that is a quartz on quartz. Um, I had that a few years ago from Mel over at To The Lunar and Back. There is a, a bracelet there made for me by the wonderful Danny of Astral Mermaid Art. Um, she's made me a few Danny and made see, and makes these bracelets. Um, and I wear them when I go out. I've got a few, but this one stays here on my altar. There is my Mother Mary statue with various rosaries and a moon attached across her neck. Um, what else have we? We've got another Mother Mary statue there, an icon picture, uh, another little statue from Philip Bowers. This is a piece of um, carnelian sent to me by Levi um, and it's a flame and I just love this um, being by me. Um, it not only does it remind me of our friendship, it's just something um, incredibly special and it has this really lovely effect on me. And next to that we have another palm stone at the back there. Um, my friend who lives in India, Rohan, uh, who's got a deck coming on Kickstarter very soon. You might see me interview him on here. He sent me that as a gift a while ago. And he's my big Ellen of the Way statue. And this is also by Philip Bowers. Um, I made the kind of Rowan um, beads last year because I've got a Rowan tree outside. And I do put a candle in there and she looks absolutely beautiful lit up and that is a rosary box so now you can see like kind of the bits i've got um there's a lamp there obviously and this is my swan camera holder for when i'm film filming youtube so this kind of continues onto the shelf above so these are the deck i use decks i use all the time these are my marseille decks my rider white decks some of my lenormand decks on there um, there's a, a kind of group of angels, Levi bought me some, my friends have bought me some, my partner's bought me some. So, um, yeah, they all stay there. And yet I've got some more Mary statues. These were bought to me, gifted to me by Levi. Um, that one I bought myself, it glows in the dark. I've got a couple of fairy tale books on there. My Sheen and the Gig statue and this little beautiful lady that someone gifted me um she represents abundance um and so these ones here are uh empty boxes that look like books and there's nothing in them so i've got my mother mary oracle there and then a, a random star from a beach i went to and i can't remember which so carrying on up again um you have a lot of my crystal skull collection on there with some decks because i've just had a huge 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 sort out 
and I wanted to kind of like keep decks down that I knew I was going to read. Um, there's some stationary journal stuff in there and inside the drawers there we have washi tape. Um, my friend Deb sent me this uh, little boat um, when I was diagnosed with HIV uh, 10 years ago. And it says we can't control the wind but we can adjust the sails. And I've always kept that and it's always been within reach where I can see it and when I'm having a bit of a down day I can kind of look at that. So up again we've got a high, even higher shelf um, which I can barely, barely reach but this is a little guy that my friend Laura bought me for my birthday um, and he's absolutely wonderful and I love him so much. Um, he's handmade, I think she had him from Etsy and yeah so all the things that I consider you know extremely special to me are kind of in this space uh obviously like i've got things behind me as well um because this is i mean actually in a room um so but this is my space um where i come when i want some space peace and quiet and where i do all my workings so i hope you enjoyed that uh guys thank you for watching thank you so much for honey lou for the original video yesterday um it's been wonderful kind of joining in um and i think it's nice because you know we can kind of get to know each other this way so if you want to join along just tag uh alter um alter setup i think or alter I'll, I'll leave the original tag underneath anyway so anyway thanks guys love you all i'll see you all soon and have a wonderful day bye